how do people represent numbers? So, maybe the first question that uh, arises in one's mind when you choose a metrical form. People have devised at least two, three mechanisms in the Indian tradition to represent numbers. One is to choose words, so like we have 1, 2, 3, etcetera. So, this is one possibility, but this does not lend itself to fit into the meter. So, if you want to say ekona vimshatihi, which is 19, so this ekona vimshatihi will not simply fit into the meter and therefore, you should have a way by which you will be able to nicely integrate it with meter. So, they had a system called Katapayadi system. They had a system uh, which is called as Bhuta Sankhya system. So, this Bhuta Sankhya system is Bhuta Sankhya, there are two parts to it. So, you choose a particular element of nature to represent a certain number. The obvious thing if somewhere to say I, ice, okay. So, then the number that strikes is 2. If one were to say Veda, the number that comes to mind is 4. So, this is one way of representing and uh, for representing 1, so they choose Chandra. So, there is only one moon for earth. So, Prithvi also for instance rep represents number 1. So, these are words which were chosen and any synonym for Prithvi, Sanskrit is very rich with synonyms and therefore, any synonym that you can uh, choose that may fit into the particular verse can be chosen by the author. They have actually represented all mathematics. So, this includes starting from number, mensuration formula, geometry, algebraic formula and it has actually culminated in representing even the infinite series in the form of versus. So, this is what is so special about mathematics in India.